What is this nerd city hate about? I don't, I don't understand. The cat thing is that it? See, people are now calling him Turd City. <laughs> Absolutely hysterical. Nerd City, the most uptight person I have ever met in my entire life. Okay, obviously. There's no denying that Nerd City is being extremely gay about this. And there's a lot of drama between him and Diorio, too. I mean, I can't even begin to tell you all of it in this short phone call. That's me, but right that's when people come up to me and tell me that Nerd City asked me why I'm friends with you at VidCon. I'm like, what the f Why? Information has come forward about a new allegation that was shared recently in the Nerd City video. Now... The Nerd City video is quite lengthy with a lot of extraneous information that we may, may not need to go into. However, there's a little addendum or I guess prologue to this that I want to get into, okay? So, <clears throat> Nerd City actually released a previous video about Sniper Wolf, which is here. SS Sniper Wolf and Azzyland hate to be compared. But of course, that won't stop their viewers, or even YouTube itself, from lumping them together every day of their lives. Whether stuffing Sniper Wolf videos into Azzy's trending topic, or just playing their videos back to back and causing widespread confusion. For most of their careers, people- Wait a second, hang on. We're gonna correct a historic wrong that has happened with this, okay? So, I don't know if you guys know this, okay? But there was actually another creator that pointed out this dynamic before Nerd City did, okay? Another creator that's a friend of the channel actually made a video about this exact topic about a week and a half before Nerd City did. I think it was pure coincidence because obviously this video was, was probably long in development, okay? But friend of the channel, Henry Resilient, really talk about I actually put a video out about this first okay so let's watch a bit of this so you can get a little flavor of what's going on there's a pattern you see she accuses people of doing things that she does to cover up her indiscretions but sniper Wolf's biggest victim of all time is none other than Canadian youtuber Azzyland with Azzyland sniper Wolf's regular tactics of striking videos was not an option because she never uses her content and she likely has access to the same YouTube personnel as her. Also, Azzy gameplay is actually her gameplay. Despite being Canadian like XQC, she is not about to break Forsen's Minecraft record anytime soon. But Sniper Wolf does have a large audience that can easily be weaponized to attack Azzy through her channel. This one-sided beef is suspected to have started from pure jealousy in terms of Azzy was never accused of faking gameplay nor does she have any skeletons in her closet like being arrested for armed robbery or enticing minors Oh my god, dude! All this sniper wolf shit is coming back to me. I covered that as well, didn't I? The court thing or something. There was like some information where they'd been in some sort of domestic incident. To be fair, I think Sniper Wolf started copying Azzy in 2016. Yeah, Go back walking. to 2016 when Sniper copied Azzy on her Overwatch Diva cosplay art. In May 2016, Azzy poses on Instagram as Diva. Shortly after, so would Sniper. Azzy drops a video on July 5th, then Sniper drops a similar video on July I don't think I ever watched the Nerd City video about this, but I think it kind of, you know, went over a lot of the same material. And I think maybe even they spoke to Azzyland about it too. But in any case, yeah, I think I'm uh, I think I'm on board with with this. I, if I remember correctly, I think there were some things where I was like, oh, I'm not so sure that's a bit of a stretch. But no, I think I am fully on board, 100% now, with all the other stuff we know about this person. That Yeah, this was skinwalking, right? Why would I care? Well, because of what we're going to get to next. I wouldn't even be talking about this if there wasn't some new drama that's occurred. So, July 17th, Trust me. we're in the same costume. Trust me, relax. I know what you're thinking. It's just a popular costume, but let's keep going. Let's not forget about how Anzi would experience her first viral moment wearing some cat ears and uh, made this Instagram post. You search Anzi Land on Google, and this is the first picture that pops up. Coincidentally, Sniper makes a same pose wearing the same ears in this video. Friends, it's me, your favorite YouTuber. This is when she stops seeing. Hey friends, it's me. Oh my god, Mama Max! I'm getting Mama Max flashbacks. Saying her name was suspect confused the Azzy audience. She even would do Azzy's signature pose. Sniper would even go as far as to tell her fans this. From the wise words of Michael Wilson. Remember I could cancel you, Charlie. I could cancel you. And I choose not to. Okay. 
to always be yourself. Unless you suck. Then pretend to be somebody else. And that's on Azzy Land. <laughs> this is a firestorm of hate watchers to Azzy's channel and inspired some to start spreading that Azzy was copying Sniper with. Even Atazi was full referring to Azzy as Sniper 2.0 while reviewing Azzy's most watched video of all time, which, you know, was that music video. So basically, if you didn't know who Sniper Wolf 2.0 is, she basically does what Sniper Wolf 1.0 does, and they're kind of just like Carl's Jr. and Hardee's. It's the same garbage, but in two different locations. But I mean, at least Azlan doesn't bully people in the grocery store who cannot pay their bills. Sniper's plan of crushing the competition was working as Azzy would eventually hit a subscriber wall and decline in viewership while Sniper Wolf thrive. Despite copying Azzy, she would tweet that Azzy was copying her, but all the evidence proves it was in reverse if people just look at the dates. She even combined this with a misleading video conveniently not showing as his posts, which have proved. Jesus Christ, yeah. The funniest teacher student text, awkward teaching student text. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's obvious, isn't it? It's just obvious. It's obvious. Brain that sniper was copying Nazi. She tried calling me out on the thing. I listen. I mean, I'm sure this is a good video from Nerd City. It's not to not to say anything bad about this video. It just kind of sucks that like <laughs> it feels like fucking Henry was on it. It's just the way it goes when you got a smaller channel. But it feels like fucking because Henry fucking did it first. Because Henry did it first. Because I like Henry. Henry's a friend of the channel. I'm trying to send some love Henry's way. Okay. Anyway, so. Long story short, okay, Sniper Wolf is copying Azzyland. There's no two ways about it, right? It's fucking pretty conclusive, I think, by this point. What if I told you that some new allegation has happened? I think involving Azzyland, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Let's get into it and see anyway. Come on. SS Sniper Wolf attacks women online who make her feel jealous. She also attacks them in person when they're just minding their own business. Sniper Wolf calls herself a psychopath. She has homicidal fantasies. Fantasies of me like beating the sh out of them or like killing them and, and they'll just like feel so good. It gets going. Other celebrities who've been penned in with her at an event have seen her suddenly snap into a violent rage with no warning. There's a big crazy story involving Sniper Wolf that you probably haven't heard about. Basically, a lot of this is um lots of kind of mental illness shit which you know i i got some other stuff i want to get to as well so we're probably not going to watch all the mental illness analysis and shit um but we are going to have a look at uh at this, this allegation of violence come beneath the wigs and the musty scalp into the mind of a malignant narcissist and learn what's real and what's fake in the spiraling tower of projection built by the world's favorite greasy haired YouTuber. Tonight's the night. Hey, Whoa! Your favorite greasy hair YouTuber. She got some greasy hair. Oh, no. Ew. Mommy said you have to take a shower. Oh, dude. <laughs> what is wrong with women? What's going on with women, eh? Oh, yeah, I've got greasy hair and I'm really gross. Very rancid, isn't it, you know? I think I went a month without showering before. That was really cool. I said, like, don't take a shower. Now that I think about it, I haven't showered in what seems to be, like, weeks. Are you serious? I would rather not shower for three months. Oh, no, she did not. Unless you don't shower and you smell. I cannot wash my own hair. You know, if you're not going to wash your hair, just cut the whole thing off. All your nasty, crusty, dandruff, lanky, greasy hair particles. <laughs> Some nasty, greasy hair YouTuber. This is like a big old bald spot. Strands of hair struggling to cover that bald spot. Now I can almost see your brain. If there was one. Oh, nasty. Why am I still getting hate? At a major gaming event, Sniper Wolf assaulted a woman who wasn't even looking in her direction. Who told you? If you've been around esports or YouTube drama for a while, you might remember. So apparently Sniper Wolf assaulted someone. I don't know if anyone has heard about this before. I think this, to my knowledge, is the first time that this has kind of come out in, like, obviously, if having an esports event, people presumably knew about it. But, uh, yeah, I had, I had no idea that this was a thing. The only thing I know of her, like, assaulting someone or getting in some violent act is, is beyond the... What is it? The armed robbery thing was this, this domestic incident that she was involved in. So I think it's fair to say at this point that there is like this weird history of violence that exists with Sniper Wolf, you know? And yeah, probably because of a Turkish descent or whatever, right?
It's what Turkish women are like, isn't it? Remember this event because this fork. was a big breakout moment for Ninja. This is a Fortnite OG Tyler Blevins dice. Yeah, it's like a Yo, it's this dude. Do you remember him? Oh my god, man. What's his name? What's this guy's name? He's the guy that got ripped off by Slicker. This guy. No, it's not XQC. Luke AFK. That's it, Luke AFK. Oh my god, this is like a little trip down memory lane as well. He does look like XQC. He got ripped off by Slicker to the tune of like thousands and thousands of dollars. And yeah, he was one of the people that I think ended up getting the money back. Uh, well, no, sorry. When the drama happened, they put together a pool of money. What was it? XQC, Ms. Kiff and someone else. And ended up giving the money back, I think. <laughs> Dude. When was the last time we had a slicker level drama? That was like maybe the Atrioc thing, something like that. But yeah, I can't remember the last time we had a we had a we had a slicker level drama occur that was, you know, that was fun. Memories take me back, take me back to the slicker era. Epic Games and Fortnite Blevins moment. Who's this guy with the, with the hair? What's what's that? What's the deal there? Also joining us today, Sniper Wolf. And Sniper Wolf embarrassed herself in more ways than one. Billed as the pro gamer in a pro amateur duo, Sniper Wolf was outplayed by everyone on the stage that day, including the amateur playing with a bucket on his head. All said and done, her team finished tied for dead last with zero points. She got eliminated early in all three rounds of the Oh, no. And she was supposed to be the professional gamer. Well, the problem with that, of course, is she never played her own fucking game, did she? She never played her own gameplay. It was a fucking partner doing it. So, of course, she's going to be a shitter. Tournament. In fact, she turned in such a poor performance that she barely appears on screen at all. In the entire 3.5 hour broadcast, blink and you would miss her. Hi, Roll. Hello. She was like playing in the competition, but she was the very first person to die. I didn't see this, but people said that like, she died within like a few seconds. What many who were there did witness off camera was Sniper Wolf getting involved in altercations. The first of which was a screaming match with her partner, Evan. He can't play for her live. When I don't get my way, I, I scream and I scream really loud. Sniper Wolf and the man who now claims to have been playing for her at home were observed to be furious with each other immediately after her last place finish. <laughs> 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 for doing so badly in Fortnite. Yeah, I think that's what I was. He's probably like, he was probably was like coaching her to like be good at that. And he left. I hate being alone. I don't like going anywhere without sausage. Okay. I believe this. I believe this is true. Okay. Because Sniper Wolf is a totally deranged fucking freak. Okay. Right. I just guess it would be nice to have something a bit more than like Aziland saying it because the problem with believing Aziland is that Aziland obviously has got every reason to fucking hate Sniper Wolf. So it's a bit like, ugh. is there is there anything more that we can have a look at? Like, I don't know. Is Azzy trying to transition to join commentary? Maybe. I don't know. It's kind of, it's kind of, my understanding of Azzy is they're just your kind of fairly standard femoid YouTuber. So it's surprising that they seemingly have got this angle where they're almost trying to get into the commentary side of things. or my mom or somebody I know I have to be with one of them, preferably sausage. One thing we forget about narcissistic folks is they don't like a band. Yo, base, who's sausage. this? One thing we forget about narcissistic that's the, folks That's the partner. Look at this guy. Let's go. <laughs> is that fucking, what's he called? What's the guy's name? Sausage. Sausage something, what's his name? Chad Sausage. I think the reason that she liked him was because he looks Turkish in his kind of physique, doesn't he? So Folks, they don't like abandonment. I have really bad separation anxiety. Use their abandonment issues to control them. You gotta keep the kitty on edge. Pretend to break up with her. <laughs> you gotta do a lot, of, a lot of things, you know? You're the puppet master now. He, ma he makes me inhale his poop. Who's the real psychopath here, the dude or the girl? And unfortunately, this was not her only skirmish of the evening. Everybody knows when you lose in an argument, all you gotta do is start screaming. I'm one of those lovely people that as soon as I get mad... They so I tell you what the dynamic of their relationship was, okay? She was like a completely insufferable, aggressive bitch, okay? 
And he was punching. So he put up with that because, you know, he uh, he found her attractive and got to, you know what, you know? That's absolutely the dynamic at play there. Turkish trailer track. Come on. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think I've made that joke before, I'm pretty sure. But this idea of like a Turkish woman being extremely aggressive and aggro. Rusty Cage is alive. Huh? Oh, the guy that pretended to guillotine himself. Yeah, I thought he would have been alive. Got to put up with the fight to get the giat. Okay. They take out all their frustration. When I get mad, it's real quick. When I get mad, I get really mad. After failing to assault other internet celebrities within the game, she made up for it in real life. Just like she always knew that she would. <laughs> I never had time to practice or go to events and compete. And not to mention, I am a very bad sport. If I lose, like, I'll go apeshit or cry or attack people. I'll literally attack people. I get really, really competitive. They thrive on winning. In fact, I'm not sure there is anything more important to a narcissist than winning. So when they fail at something, you need to brace yourself because you are likely going to see some behaviors you never dreamed you would see exhibited by a full grown adult. She played poorly and then attacked people. Narcissistic rage is an explosive combination of hostility and anger. Okay. I think calling someone a narcissist on a, on a sort of casual level is fine. I'm not sure how I feel about, I mean, I, I, I don't like, I don't like this kind of like, oh, we're going to get professionals in to almost like try and diagnose them in some way, you know, like just, just call them a narcissist, didn't call them like a self-centered freak or whatever, but like trying to medicalize it to this level is excessive for me. And I just don't think it's necessary to make the point you're trying to make, you know, like no, we cannot possibly discern whether or not um, Sniper Wolf is actually like a narcissist to a medical level. It comes about when a narcissist has their sense of self threatened. Essentially, the narcissist is having to face their own inferiority, which is something they are not able to do. They cannot accept the fact that they are not perfect. The narcissist becomes aggressive in order to distract themselves, eliminate the source of the shame, or to blame the painful feelings on someone else. Asshole killed me. Narcissistic people are very reactive. <laughs> when they're frustrated, when they're disappointed. Why? Because it means they're not perfect. It means they're not the grandiose ideal that they've created for themselves to protect themselves from that cauldron of shame that's always bubbling up. I threw my headset off and then I went to go cry in the bathroom for a little bit. And then I had to come back on stream and pretend like I was okay. <laughs> okay, I kind of overreacted. Out of the blue, from the side. He makes, he makes a comment on this. Can you see that glitch? Did you see that glitch? He makes a comment on this and brings on a couple doctors to talk on this subject. Okay. Well, listen. If I'm if I'm prejudging it without having watched it, or if I'm pause andying, then yeah, sure. But oh, I don't know. So yeah, apparently it's a it's a bait and switch title. Nerd City left to be on TBH because the Discord spammed cats in general. What? The psychologists are not diagnosing. They are talking about the disorder in general. But, okay. Listen, if this is explained later, so be it. I mean, it's a fucking hour-long video, so maybe it gets to it at some point. But when you are put... Maybe I'm... I could be totally wrong. I could be totally wrong on this point. When... You are putting lots of specialists and experts in your video and talking about a disorder, okay? It's very fucking obvious that the intent there is to put on a, a sort of impression and give some validity to this idea that you're not just calling them a narcissist via some sort of abstract sense. You're trying to medicalize it and say, yes, they are a narcissist medically, right? <clears throat> That's my perception. It could be wrong. It could be later he goes. It could be later he goes, guys, I did all of that as a little trick. And actually, I'm trying to make it the opposite point or something. Sure. Then I'd say I was wrong. But it just feels very much so far. Like, this is all about trying to put an extra implication on this idea that this person's a narcissist, you know? 
And yeah, I think I understand what you mean by the bait and switch title. So the whole point of the title here is, oh, look, it's, oh, guys, we're doing a drama video. We talk about Sniper Wolf assaulting an innocent bystander, but the whole point of the video is something else, right? Side hatch basically launches Sniper Wolf and has to be restrained. You want to know a recap of what happened? Sure. Okay, so Here we go. basically... Uh... They were like in a circle and I was walking, I walked in the bathroom and then when I was walking back, I saw them and they're like, hey, Ozzy. And even go, and then I was like, so close there. And I'm like, oh, you know what? Just, just be nice. And they just walk over. And then I go into in there and I got really awkward. So I started like just say, telling an embarrassing story of myself. And uh, she just like is looking at me. She's silent and she's like, like angry. And then she like lunges at me. And I don't remember like exact details because it was just fucking terrifying in between and like pulled her off me and then they took her back into the room and then i was out there and they were like what the was that <laughs> it was just like it was so oh yeah she was like oh yeah she was scram at me she's like a bunch of words i can't actually say on youtube but the one sentence i can say is she goes you fake your game plan and then charges towards me swinging this is an azzy land only channel from now on sniper wolf is no longer my best friend azzy land is my best friend leah had wait 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 hold on I mean, he's saying that obviously other people verified it. I mean, that's as much as we can say about it. I, I do. I'm a sniper wolf assault truther. I think it. I, I can definitely believe that happening. Turkish. Turkish blood. The Turkish blood running through her veins inevitably would have made her do something like that. And I guess, yeah, they don't want to be involved. But yeah, it sounds pretty wild, doesn't it? had to be physically pulled off of Azra and was dragged away screaming and clawing. Yes, this was me, the child with the anger issues, who would never back down from a fight. And I scream really loud. You know that high-pitched scream that girls do? I'm not even going to do it for you guys, just to spare you headphone users. <laughs> ah, like, I hate you! Dude, did you just... You couldn't see it. Like, I... You know that high-pitched scream that girls do? I'm not even going to do it for you guys, just to spare you headphone users. <laughs> Yo! Raging out like that is crazy. I want to see more stuff like that. That is like full blown, uncontrollable rage. You would, puddle sucker. Well, that makes sense. You got a little bit of schizo yourself, haven't you, mate? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Fucking hell, man. You're like, I hate you. When the narcissist says something hurtful, or they recount how they said something hurtful in the past, saying it or as they're remembering that they said it and talking about it, you see, again, the sense of relief on their face, kind of this subtle smile sometimes. Like, even just the memory of it brings a little bit of joy. But everybody heard about it. Everybody was, like, coming up to me all night saying, like, wow, you have anger issues. <laughs> Why do you... Wait, hang on a sec. Hang on. So... <laughs> You're telling me that the point of this video is not to give an extra layer or extra feeling of validity to the idea that she's a narcissist when they're putting clips like that in that way. It just seems like the obvious conclusion of what they're trying to do there. Yeah, and also that Todd Grand guy, uh, he's like he's like a pop guy on YouTube. I think, I don't think, you know, I don't know what his fucking background. I, I am, okay. I am just very distrusting of people that talk about their medical credentials and stuff making YouTube videos. Obviously, we had the whole fucking Dr. K shit from years ago now where I was not, I mean, he was pushing fucking Ayurveda for fuck's sake. How insane is that? But anyway, anyone that's pushing themselves as a doctor on YouTube I'm always a bit skeptical. I'm always a bit question mark. Like, really? Like, what's the deal there, you know? Just like Aiden said, it's a bait and switch title. The real video is about subclinical diagnosis being a problem. Okay, Dr. Chad. <laughs> well, maybe in America, real doctors wouldn't give out that info for free. In America, they'd fucking send you a check for that. 
scream so much, especially when you can't win a level in a game? Do you have anger issues? Maybe I do have anger issues. Do you have a problem with that? Do you? I can't help my anger. Whenever I get mad at a game, I get really mad and I can't help it. Maybe they can't help it. I'm telling you, obviously, they can. And if they couldn't, Mel, they'd never be as successful as they are. Or they'd be screaming in shareholder meetings. They'd be screaming at everyone. Sometimes they do, but they tend to scream at what they consider low value targets. That to scream is at disgusting. Other people. The people who saw it never made a video about this, probably to like preserve their reputation as drama free. And because that's not the kind of content that they normally make. Who told you? Now I need to know. When people would find out about it secondhand, they would inquire about it. And as he would ask them, please don't make a video about this. Probably shouldn't mention it. Man. She did not want the drama. I mean, I don't want to comment on this. But in those, you know, sort of upper social circles, it's been known for years that there is a prominent creator who is, has a screw loose in their head. I mean, there was this one bitch who talked so much on me online. And then she came up to me, smiled and tried to hug me. I'm like, you call me stupid and ugly, we throw in hand. And women. Yo! Dude. I didn't realize there's all these clips of Sniper Wolf being so aggressive like that. <laughs> Nerd City lives up to his name. What is this fucking Nerd City hate about? I don't I don't understand. The cat thing, is that it? I don't know much about this guy. I just know that fucking... Do you know how I know about Nerd City? I know about the Nicholas Diorio image where he's dressed like him. That's literally it. That's the only fucking thing I know about this guy. I don't know that much about his content. I mean, this video seems fine. What's wrong with this video? I don't really have a problem with it, but people are acting like it's bad. I don't know, honestly, just I know he just sucks, apparently. He's a corporate plant. Is he? Yeah. Previous Come on, though, that's, that is a cool, that's a cool look, though. You can't deny that's a pretty cool look, isn't it? The crazy doctor thing. Hey? I think that's a pretty cool look. I'm thinking about doing that get up from an extreme. Oh, look, I've watched some of his stuff before. Okay, that's wonderful. But how do I make money off depressed people? Five pounds from Mr. Clark here. Let's be honest with ourselves. She goes like a train. Okay, thank you for the five pound. Appreciate it. Six years ago. Damn, he doesn't upload that much either, it seems. Six years, four years. Oh, I see. So four years, two years, six months. Oh, okay, so he's only recently just started kind of uploading again. Yeah, I messaged Tommy C. I messaged Tommy C and said, hey, do you want to hop on and explain this nerd city shit to me? Normally he likes to, he likes to pop on and have a chat. So we'll see. Especially should stay away from her. The rest of the night, everybody made sure like she was on the opposite side of the room as me. She gonna make me commit a crime. Bro, you gonna make me do something violent. These hands are rated E for everyone. I would have popped them right then and there. <laughs> and as soon as you put your guard down, it's just like. <laughs> In the last episode of Nerdline, we saw how Sniper Wolf was copying elements from Azzyland that had already proven to be popular. A piece of wood used to mix paint for 50 years. Used to mix paint for 50 years. Imagine how cool this would be, like people like were a little more creative though. And they were like, pink, blue, yellow, purple. I mean, it would have been cooler if y'all used like brighter colors or something. It's the same kind of kind of content. She's just a liar though. She's stealing everything and has been for a very long time. The easiest examples to find by simply looking at the dates and comparing them are the hundred- Hey, see? This is why I watched Henry's video. Henry went, Henry did this too, but he's a much smaller channel. He's come back off a two-year hiatus and started diagnosing Sniper Wolf, pulled a Shane Dawson, Jake Paul documentary. No, I mean, to be honest with you, I only mainly wanted to watch that. I only mainly wanted to watch that stuff. I just, you know, I just, it's quite a long, it's quite a long video, isn't it, you know? And I don't know if I'd have much to add either. I mean, what is all this? Sniper Wolf target Iceland, we just kind of went over that. And then they talk about all the different mental illnesses. See, look, there's loads of people that are coming in and like just shitting on Nerd City. 
No one is a higher opinion of Nerd City than Nerd City. If you want to know how good he is, he will happily tell you. Who cares about Sniper Wolf copied Azzy when Nerd copied Henry? To be fair, I doubt very much that he copied Henry's video. It's more likely that it's been in development for a while and they just so happen to pick up on the same strands of shit to put a video out, you know? See, people are now calling him Turd City. <laughs> it just feels sometimes like you're talking about someone or something, and it still happens now. And you are discussing a particular creator, and all of a sudden, there's all this fucking hate that comes his way, that comes their way, and not knowing anything about it, you, you're a bit like, okay, what what's going on here then? Why is everyone shitting on this guy? <laughs> but as people have asked for it. Let's look up the cats thing, okay? Tommy C's not responding, which is fine. He's probably busy with something. So let's have a look and see. Nerd City Cats. Is that it? Is that what I'm looking for? I see this Tommy C stream. Is that what I want to be looking at? Nerd City does not like cats. The next lol cow. Two weeks ago. Oh, this is not a, uh, an exposed video. This is not an attack on... Nerd City's masculine. Well, it might be. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, he's getting mauled by a bunch of cats. That's kind of fucking great. Yeah, it's, we're not saying we're not like making. It's not no, no sexual innuendo or anything. Although like I that. talked to him, didn't but I? um, did you hear that um, two man died? No. Yes, what was that? Did. First. Oh, that's too bad. He's used to you. Well, uh, I was listening to be honest, which is um, besides Chud Logic is like one of the best. Like, I, I don't think they'd like to call it that, but they're kind of a drama. Are they a drama cast first? A little bit. I probably less so these days. I yeah. think, but yeah, that's where it started. It, it, they have some other topics now these days that don't, yeah, you know, don't overlap with that and commentary and stuff. But so they, they definitely towards the beginning. Was. Okay, so they put the whole thing about a two man out. I thought it was one of the best stuff. I thought the stuff I did with Jamie in there, and you really get an idea who the guy was, and I think it's as fair as possible. And I know talking to Clown that he really cared about him. So I listened to it. and I thought it was really good. And then we get to the part, uh, guys. Listen, look. At this point, at this point, it's just in order to be weird about it. But yeah, of course, you end up getting mentioned. It's not a big deal. As long as it's not in a negative context, that's the main thing. Um, the about main thing cats. Well, it, apparently, um, Nerd City has a problem with some of the people's Chud behavior in Discord. Glazed. And he sounds like a hall monitor throughout the entire thing. And it's absolutely hysterical. Nerd City, the most uptight person I have ever met in my entire life. Um, it just, it's No, to be honest, me and Tommy get on very, very well. Um, save some sort of crazy occurrence. I doubt we'd ever have a falling out. He's a very reasonable guy. I mean, to be honest with you, he's a really good sport as well, because when we first started, like, because bear in mind, I didn't really know Tommy that well a little while ago, and it's only recently we started interacting more. And when he first came on the stream, some people, like, <laughs> some people were like, oh, he's breathing every, I don't like this guy. What did I? You know, there's a lot of hate. There's a lot of hate that people have towards someone if they're not quite meeting their idea of what they want someone to be, you know? But I think as, like, communities have melded and stuff, People have been a bit more, you know, chill about it. It was funny. Yeah, it was a funny meme. But like, it's fine to laugh at that and poke fun at it. But I had people that like were like, don't like people in the comments were going, don't bring Tommy on again. Don't bring Tommy on again, Chud. Why are you bringing this guy on? He's fucking old. And oh, dude, chill out. He's fun to talk to. and He's a nice guy. What's your problem? And also he's correct about a lot of shit too. He's worth listening to. Anyway, there we go. There's the counter glazing. It's hysterical, lolcal, cringe after cringe moment, and uh, we're 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 gonna we're gonna um, go over it together, and because Nerd City, um, I don't I don't even know how to put this. Let's just play. How about that? You all ready? Yeah, yeah. You're not showing the screen. I'm not showing the screen. What do you mean? Um, you're, you're not in the stream. You're fucking yeah. moron. Yeah, you're, you're a dipshit. I, I am in the stream. No, you're not. You said you heard the music, right? Oh, okay. okay. Yo, okay. Re <laughs> you fucking retard. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. God. Can I be host today, Tommy? Can I? Sure. All right. We just kept it just us. We fucked yeah, it up. Just of it. In fact, I'm gonna pop out the chat because um, I want to be able to see. Can you have a right clip now. of that? Thank you so much, Joy, Joy Sparkles. I just the worst time to return the internet. Why does Inner City hate me and my children? She doesn't have children, does she? <laughs> Joy Sparkles. I'm not the cats, Tommy. Ah, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. Very good. I like it. That's a throwback. There's a throwback in the hand. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Where's Doc to put the meow song? There you go. That's a that's a real throwback. All right. I think I'm gonna have to put my glasses for this one because I can't see over there. It sucks.
Good, perfect. Here we go. Um, Nerd City, to be honest, Pirate Cynical, Double Dark, I'm Cats. The reason they're asking this is because one of the reasons that the Discord is so unusable and shitty is that maybe like one out of every four messages posted is a GIF or an MP4 of random cat doing a random thing. It's not their cat necessarily. It might just be something that's on the tenor key. Not even your cat. <laughs> fucking believable. <laughs> Can you imagine? I mean, you know, there's talk that some people actually monetize these cat GIFs and these cat images, from what I understand. Certain content creators. Ones I perhaps used to knock about with that some of you probably don't even know the fuck they are. Um, turn their stream into a big fucking shill, all centered around cat gifts. Apparently that's a thing. But anyway, people post videos of cats. It's not even your cat. I mean, what asshole? You put cat in the chat. You're fucking banned. You're missing. <laughs> oh god. The board might be something from TikTok. Just a cat doing something. Stock image of a cat. Cat being funny. A cat being scary. A cat being retarded. <laughs> Any kind of cat, just whatever. Dolan has encouraged this. Every sticker on our Discord is a, <laughs> is a cat. So it's a way for the them to just hear them laughing. Yeah, I know they're, they're shutting yeah, them up. They, they, he doesn't realize it, but I think they're just shutting them up and letting them talk because they, they probably. If you rewind this kind of video on YouTube, our cat videos, Jesus Christ! <laughs> like, if you, if you rewind like five ten seconds, you can hear Dolan laugh under his breath, and yeah, then Pyro starts to fucking lose it. Like, yeah. <laughs> and here's the thing: he's being dead serious. This is not an act. Oh yeah. Dolan, and I, so I guess relate to the show. But my problem with this is the cat doesn't actually relate to the show. We never <laughs> talked about cats until this very moment. So it didn't make any sense. It also was so generic that... I mean... Okay, obviously, there's no denying that Nerd City is being extremely gay about this and very po-faced and very, like, you know... It's like the seriousness, it's the gravitas that he's trying to approach a situation that's funny. OK, but like if if someone was posting a bunch of fucking cat gifts. In in your discord, it would be annoying, wouldn't it? No, maybe it, maybe it gets to a point where he freaks out more so about it. But yeah, of course, the gravitas he's trying to approach it with is crazy. But fundamentally, I don't think there's anything wrong with taking issue with people posting stupid gifts. Chud is about to sweep for Nerd City. I don't even fucking know the guy. I don't even fucking know the guy, okay? I've got no desire to sweep for anyone here. I'm just wanting to find out what this cat thing is all about, okay? That's literally it. Your fan content creator is very generic, not well inspired. <laughs> uh, guys, you are not you are not adding value to the Discord by posting cats. Please pretend it's TBH only. <laughs> yeah, now imagine, imagine the same argument came out colossal, how that would sound. Well, you see, that has nothing to do with this argument whatsoever. Ooh, no, they're just letting him go, believe me. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I find a smart way to, like, notice the creativity that's happening within your community and then elevate it and, like, reward the- <laughs> <laughs> he, sound, he sounds like a kindergarten teacher to you elevate yourself <laughs> people who are doing funny things so you're always kind of on you, you keep your eye out for when someone shows they have talent or when they've picked out a meme out of your content that you, you didn't even think of you know it starts to have a life of its own so you know you're looking for things that we could we could uh put on the tbh twitter account or that we could make into a sticker you know or pin you know these fans are okay 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 right nerd city starting to lose me a bit now okay what is this fucking pretentious shit that you're looking at your commute? Like, what? It's like so overwrought the way that he's putting it across, you know? Acting like there's like some sort of like... Sweeping for Tommy now. Now I'm sweeping for Tommy. <laughs> I think you guys just say sweeping because you know it winds me up. I think that's what you do now. You were saying... Okay. <laughs> I don't know what it is today. I feel very irritable. Maybe it's all the fucking energy drinks I've been guzzling, okay? But, like, obviously, I have... N I, the first time I heard about this drama was literally 20 minutes ago in my chat, okay? I know nothing about this, and at the behest of chat, I've decided to watch this fucking thing, and so I know nothing about it, and I'm going in blind. So I am literally going to pause and do the fuck out of it, because at some point I'm going to pause and go, oh, I think this about this, obviously based on the entirety of the information that's been presented to me so far, okay? And then I play it a bit more, and I go, oh, he's losing me a bit. And it's like, oh, sorry, Chad, what were you just saying there? I was saying something that I thought on the basis of the information that had been put into my fucking head, okay? And then more information got put into my head, so I'm starting to change my perspective a bit on it, okay? That's all that's happening here. Please don't be smug. I'm on a short fuse today. I'm going to fucking... I'm going to have a sniper wolf moment soon. Okay? What do I do? Okay. I'm grateful. They are not working hard enough to give them a content. We could be doing all this stuff and you just insist on having fun and posting cats. 
Jeez. What you don't understand is our Discord only exists for free labor so that we can create stickers, art, merch, mm. not adding value to the stream. Get the fuck out. He does sound like a Karen. Isn't Karen of the unity? Yeah, I'll say. Oh, to, to kind of like highlight it and, and put it on with a magnet on the refrigerator and go like, this fucking rules. We like this. And what I was just- I'm sure they're, sure they're going to get a piece of that too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, yeah. Thank you very much. We'll make money on it. <laughs> and over and over, we're cats. Well, uh, we'll and that just- Discord, you'll get a roll. <laughs> yeah, you'll get a roll. <laughs> <laughs> Cat me maker. <laughs> it's pink. Uh -huh. We can't do anything with that, you know? If And what I said to Dolan is like, imagine best case scenario with the cats. Imagine that every <laughs> reply to something related to our show or our posts on Twitter is cats. It'll be so generic because it's such a, it, it's it's like the most common thing that anyone has ever posted online are like cat videos. I, is Nerd City not joking though? Is, he, is this not some elaborate ruse? Why is he so super serious and po-faced about this? If he was like, listen, it's a bit annoying when we would just spam bullshit in the Discord. Um, it can be fun when people are posting unique memes and it's funny, but if it's just catch shit, it's fucking gay. Right? Yeah, no problem. I'm with you, bro. I'm fucking with you. But he's like, well, you see, the thing is, the problem when people post a lot of cat gifts is that, you know, you want to look into your community. Because you want to get the absolute best, most optimum content from there because you want to put it on. And you just can't do that with cat gifts. You just, you sound so fucking autistic. Yeah, you're like an autistic weirdo. Just be more, why, why, is, why does some people get like this? Just relax, chill out. You don't need to be like that. You can just be a normal guy and people will probably like that more. Okay, that's wonderful. But how do I make money off depressed people? Five dollars from Puddle Sucker, fence sitting. That doesn't even bother me. I'm not even mad because I know you're trying to wind me up. Nice try. Thank you for the five dollars. These, these fans of his are just not sophisticated enough. That's the problem. <laughs> no, they should have kept their Discord. They should have an IQ test so anyone can join the Discord. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the thing, like, you're getting engagement. Who cares? Not Nerd City. My fans yeah, have to be sophisticated. That. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> that used to be the main knock on the internet. Oh, it's mainly cat videos. So, it could... I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure glad those days are over. The cat videos are Yeah, Starman, exactly. He's talking like he's on the board of directors of some company. Yeah, it's like he's given it. He's like he's having a discussion with a bunch of directors about the direction of the business and how this is bad for business and that's good for business. Yeah, it comes. Someone said earlier this guy's like an industry plant or something, and I don't know if that's true, but he certainly sounds like it in the way that he's talking here, trying to be super po faced and analytical about the fact that someone is just posting fucking gay cat memes in their Discord. Normally, with which you go, "Come on, guys, stop posting cat memes," and that would be it, and it'd be fucking over, and you could just start. Timing people out if they're annoying you with that shit, you know? Right, gentlemen, we're here today. We're here to discuss the, Q the Q4 Discord memes for stickers. Who's got some suggestions for us here? Right, right. <laughs> it used to be right one, of the, the one of the good criticisms of the internet. There's just too many cat videos. <laughs> Actually, really, if you think about it, the whole internet's cat videos and actual pussy. That's it. That's all it was. That's all it ever was. There you go. Be recognizable. We couldn't brand it. So it's just. <laughs> It's like a you're dead end. Our, uh, guys, you're killing our brand in the server by posting cat gifts. You need to be clicked out of the podcast. And these guys, all oh, these three guys are... The cat don't pertain to the stream. You have to be talking about the stream in general chat, guys. General chat is not for chatting about general things. It's about talking about the podcast. <laughs> He's trying to control people. What a joke. And so I was trying it's to, also like... like this, like, a lot of people oh, just use God, general for shit posting, which I guess it's just two different views of what a Discord general... Yeah, one's uh, an uptight fucking Karen, and the other one's just people that want to have fun. Yeah, one's a uh, handcuffed concentration camp, and the other is a general chat. <laughs> it's, like, you've probably had far better experiences. And like, I don't believe- Yeah, I've had the most sophisticated experiences in Discord. Everybody uh, that I talk to has at least an IQ of 130, and that's on the low end. <laughs> Everything has to be related to the podcast, you know, in the general chat. Sure, in the actual- It's just a trauma podcast. You get a fuck it over yourself, you right Other chats, nuts. but that was my view on it anyway. Yeah, I agree. I don't think it's necessary for uh, them to have to put something of interest within the general chat and then disallowed from posting cats continuously. I mean, a lot of these people, like, they really do- How is this a conversation happening in real life? Like, how is, yeah, like, I know. How is this, how does this even- <laughs> it, it seems pretty obvious to me that the other people, well, at least, I don't know about Pyrocynical's take. Isn't Pyrocynical trans now? I saw some images of that. But Colossal and Dolan Dark, obviously, to me, it comes across that they're trying to handle it delicately, but- well, not delicately, but they're trying to, like, not be a dickhead about it. But clearly, they're, they're probably thinking, like, what the fuck is this con about? Fucking cat memes. Who cares, bro? You know? That seems to be the kind of impression that I'm getting from this. Because, yeah, it's, like, such an absurd thing to get so serious about, you know? I think he's cross-dressed a couple of times. Yeah, they're trans. Okay? I'm telling you. Evidence? I present Finster to the audience. 
This is I supposed could... to be. This is supposed. Jay Lee, shut the fuck up. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the scarce episode for Baited. I mean, Clown were just typing back and forth with each other. So I could feel. I, I just hear. I could hear the lulls being typed back and forth in some chat room. It's this just is like, like a, a like a, a sketch you'd watch in like 2009. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, right. Guys, you have to keep. You have to keep the uh, cat memes in the cat hashtag cat chat. Keep them in the general chat. Very, <laughs> you're abusing the power, guys. You're gonna lose your perms. <laughs> The other thing as well with Discord is is like it gets to a point where it just goes beyond you too, you know. Um, what's this? Like it's it's you know it's just this is the way it goes. The Discords are way too unwield, big and unwieldy, to have this kind of control over where it can align so closely. I think. You can have your kind of obviously your YouTube comments and chat and stuff like that. That sort of place is going to be more geared towards maybe what you want. But Discord's just become big and full of people who some some of which don't even fucking watch your content, you know? And that's just the way that Discords go. Just the nature of the beast. Because yeah, I don't know, it just is not the same as going and watching a stream or engaging with someone's content. I guess the difference is is that well yeah, I mean the difference is is that it's a it's a platform on which there's never going to be any fucking engagement with your fucking, um, you know, there's never going to be any engagement with your content via the Discord, right? Whereas every other platform you're on as a content creator, someone's having to interact with your content in some way for you to be there, be it Twitter, a post on X, be it a YouTube video, whatever, right? But Discord is like the only place on social media where someone can join your community or whatever without ever interacting with one of your pieces of fucking content. I mean, they could get the link from someone else because, hey, people here like to talk about... People like to, people like to fucking post cat memes in general. Come on in. It's fun, you know? But yeah. I actually expected the Discord to be the fan clubs and those mother... Yeah, exactly. They're not really like a fan club, really. No. That's a... Yeah. Like Wait, cats. Wait, we're and... no pictures in the general chat. <laughs> no, try to organize everything. Like, Jesus. Yeah, it'll be more fun if I get to tell you what to do. <laughs> in many cases, right, right, right. they're posting their own cat, and that cat is something well, that... a clown, according to Nerd City, they're not even his own cats. They're just a random, like, like a cat they don't even know. <laughs> the world revolves around. Some people would say that's kind of sad, but I don't know. I mean, maybe I like animals, so I don't think it's that sad. But you ended up leaving the Discord. <laughs> <laughs> or was it like... They set him up. They had to set him up. They set him up. <laughs> they don't. They, they totally do. They set him up. They were letting him run along so they could just hammer that at the he end. He has no idea. He has no fucking idea. Wait, hang on. So he left the Discord. He left the fucking Discord over that as well. Yeah, the pe the peaking's a bit much. That's pretty fucking insane. Yeah, just mute the channel. Dude, what? Oh, someone's telling me here the Discord is also paid for. Oh, hey, Nicholas, how's it going? I've actually got sidetracked enormously um, in all of it. I've only had a cursory look at the situation. Um, I mean, yeah, it, it's, it sounds to me like the point of the Low Cow podcast, I do want to get to it at some point, but I don't know if I'll be able to get to it today. The point of the Low Cow podcast is you have that kind of fractious drama between each other. And from everything I've seen, seen it seems like Connor was just going along with the kind of tone of what was the whole point of the podcast was. And now he's getting fired for that. And it seems like Keemstar is just kind of upset more than there's a genuine reason to fire him, you know? Chud, when we donate, can you make it play a cat gif? Absolutely not. Never under any circumstances is that happening, no. But yeah, I've not watched the original conversation. Um, I've skimmed through Connor's Reddit post. I've not. Uh, Keemstar seems to be responding only in video form, so I've not even watched that yet. But that's my kind of base instinct on the situation, based on just skimming it a bit. But yeah, I mean, again, the problem you've got now is you mention it, and people are like, "Oh, it's fake. It's all fake." Like, look, in chat already, people are like going, it's fake. I don't think it's fake. I think it's real. But it's the boy who cried drama, exactly like I fucking said before about that show. That, you know, it, it feels like if you cover it, people are just going to assume well, that's probably fake. So who cares? You know? <laughs> Crazy. Anyway, that's my rough take.
<laughs> I was, dude, when I was listening to this the first time, I was screaming. Like, it's so funny. Like, oh my God. I'm mad I didn't Cut. make it this far. I think I, uh, I was watching this episode, but I paused it like midway through and yeah. I hadn't got to this point. So when you told me about that, I was like, how did I miss that? Like, there's no way. Because if it was on the other way around, if I saw this, I would like, I have to show this to Tommy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. I know. I know. I know. Like, how did I miss that? He is such a fucking passive aggressive. Fucking Listen, boy. okay. Obviously, I love Tommy. Okay. No disrespect to the guy. Is the, what's, is there original video that I can watch just so I can see the original thing, and then I can kind of react at my own my own pace? The truth about too mad. Okay, that's wonderful. But how do I make meow. money off depressed people? Meow, meow, meow. Five dollars from M4 says zero B4 T. Meow, 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 meow. Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome to another episode of. We got it. We got it, guys. We got it. We got it. And like, I don't believe everything has to be related to the podcast, you know, in the general chat. Sure, in the actual other chats, but that was my view on it anyway. Yeah, I agree. I don't think it's necessary for. Uh them to have to put something of interest within the general chat and then disallowed from posting cats continuously. I mean, a lot of these people... I, th I think that's the other angle as well to all this is um, if people are paying to enter your Discord, obviously they still can't break the fundamental rules, but if they're just doing stupid shit, I mean, they've kind of paid for that privilege, no? Hey, Pizza Slinger, thank you for the 149. A purple cat, indeed. Thank you. Well, they really do like cats. And in many cases, they're posting their own cat. And that cat is something their whole world revolves around. Some people would say that's kind of sad, but I don't know. I mean, maybe <laughs> I like animals, so I don't think it's that sad. But you ended up leaving the Discord because people were posting cats or was it like a, an amalgamation of see I, yeah obviously the point there it does seem like a bit of a setup here like there's you you left the discord because people were posting cats it's like they're intentionally trying to make this guy sound like a fucking loser why would you do that to your, your podcast guy <laughs> Dude. at first i thought they were trying well at first, I thought they were just trying to be chill about it, but this just seems pretty obvious. Like, yeah, man, why did you do that, you fucking idiot? Burying things. Yeah, we had the Patreon episode where we, we went back. in detail talking about what were the problems in the Discord, and it was that uh, people were posting at first. You know, like, when I first started to object to this and, and tried to moderate the server, it was when people were posting stacks of the same gif oh, yeah, over and over annoying. that's the yeah that's definitely a change good change is disallowing that so it, like it started with that and and wanting things to like not be so disruptive to conversation that you couldn't have them like where you would have to scroll a mile to hit the last thing that somebody said it's like that we had to stop that and one of those people that got banned for doing that was someone that dolan is uh very fond of someone who had been helping Dolan make uh, shorts for the TBH Clips channel. So it's like pretty core to like the core group of people and people who were getting approval from the hosts were people who were actively trying to disrespect the server and make it worse. So there's been a bit of a cultural battle there where, you know, we're trolls by nature. We like to annoy people who we don't like and we act in. Wait, hang on a sec. Sorry, this is actually getting funny. Let me. Tommy C's calling in. Hang on. Tommy C. Hello, Hello there. Sorry, I, I was told you were doing something in Nerd City, but I haven't watched anything because I was watching my team lose. No, it's all good, man. I had to turn off your reaction because uh, you were really pissing me off, to be honest. Why? <laughs> no, it's fine. It was just like, you know, obviously you like to be able to react, react to your own pace, don't you, you know? I wasn't being, I was just being fucking, I was being a bully. I wasn't. You were just fucking around, weren't bully. you, mate? Yeah, 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 I don't know. I'm trying, I, wasn't, I wasn't trying to uh, make any kind of, a, a, any kind of point or anything like that. I just like fucking, because he's a dork. 
<laughs> well, at, f- at first, when I was listening to it, I was like, okay, he doesn't like the, like spam in Discord. That seems reasonable. But then he turns it into this weird, like, well, no, because we're looking for the best memes that we can turn. <laughs> <to> <laughs> yeah, like, that was hysterical. What? That's why. Yeah, yeah, are you I being know. like a fucking? Someone said it's like a corporate fucking meeting or something. <laughs> and it's like you're a fucking YouTuber, bro. Chill out a little bit. He, he, he's a very wacky. First of all, Nerdy, he's a really, really bright guy, but he's exceptionally socially awkward i get the feeling when i talk he won't tell me uh but he wouldn't say no i asked him if he went to a boarding school right and uh he didn't answer um so i i have a kind of feeling that's the kind of background he comes from he's uh, like i said he's exceptionally bright uh if you want to talk about things like algorithms and stuff like that but i think the way he views fans the way he views uh interactions uh with other people the fact that he has a lot of difficulty getting his balls busted Although he took this pretty well, from what I understand. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just getting yeah. to that bit, and yeah. it, it feels like he's kind of going to go on to say that, like, he doesn't like it when people that aren't YouTubers make fun of him. Basically, that's what. It yeah, and and and, and, they're, and that's that's a bunch of horse shit because prior to that, he was really considered. This is the first kind of chink, chink in his armor. If you watch that old stream, wait, wait sorry, Tommy, what the first what in his armor? Sorry, chink in his armor. It's an oh, expression. okay. Oh, sorry, I misunderstood. Sorry, okay. <laughs> I, I thought you were gonna bust my balls about that. Um, no, I'm not. I'm not talking about Asians. Um, no, it was kind of for shank in his art because he was uh, in our community. He's super well respected. and He's loved, and he was a shot from the point fan before he blew up. And he was always really, really good to me. Um, I never. I'll never say he wasn't. Uh, but one of the things he liked about the cast is that I was always willing to pu- punch up. He complimenting me when I was kind of busting. Uh, face banks his walls and i really have no um problem i don't look at sub counts and say oh i can't criticize that guy or i can't goof on that guy it doesn't matter if you're jeremy Han- hanley or, or, or face banks or on the left or the right i've always been pretty consistent that way so when one of my guys one of my trusted guys asked him i i think a very fair question and i don't think it was sar- sarcastic at all and he treats my guys like that you can sort of see my reaction i'm just like blown away because i would never expected this behavior from him I would come to expect that behavior from him in the years to come, right? Uh, and and he is he's soft. He's a soft guy, um, and uh, but he's also a really he's a he's a brilliant creator, um, and uh, yeah, he's, he's a brilliant creator. He's super super smart, but uh, he's socially a little awkward. I mean, we were I guess we were never destined to get along, but we did get along for a, a long time. But once he's uh, I found out um, he's a dish it out but can't take it guy. Uh, and there's a lot of drama between him and Diorio, too. I mean, I can't even begin to tell you all of it in this short phone call. But uh, yeah, it, it, we really, um, really spread. This is somebody I really like, but we, we just, we don't, our personalities are just too far apart. Um, that being said, he's not a bad person, he's just kind of a dork. That's it. I, I mean, mean, yeah. I, I mean, if yeah. I. If I limited, oh shit! Okay, sorry. Someone wants to be added. I think someone wants to come <laughs> in and. Um, I think. Remind I think. Me. I think they want to share some uh, information they've got, possibly about Tipster. So uh, right, yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna add them real quick. So okay. give me a sec. Hang on. Hello. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> All right, gamers. No. I don't know anything about this. Any anyway. comment on how this will affect Tibbs' legacy, Nicholas? Detri- direly. Dire consequences. But here we go. All right, listen, listen, listen. Are you familiar with anything to do with Nerd City? Do you know any of the lore, any of the commentary lore? All I know is a bunch of people in my chat are telling me that Nerd City is a fucking loser. So and I'm like, I got into a fight with Nerd City. It was like the start of my YouTube channel in 2018. He has then unblocked me, and we've been on cordial terms ever since. I, I, I used his, um, his NFT for a while as my profile picture. He has remained hating Augie and Bo Blacks for the last six years. Okay, he will not unblock them. He hates yeah. them. <laughs> I need to send you audio of him aggressively talking about a time when Bo Blacks was splunking in a cave and it was angering him. <laughs> 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 I need to, dude, dude, wavy web servers like, can we add Bo Blacks to the call? And he's no, no, we can't add him because he was in a cave. Okay. He, this guy was Tony Stark in a cave with a box of scraps, and Nerd being, City was not having it. He was being, he was being very unsafe about it. You left that out. Don't admit that important he was being information. Very unsafe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. 
So it sounds like this guy's a bit of a dork. Yeah. And you guys just don't like him. Is that what it is? I like I like the guy I thought I knew. Um, I've heard but... for years that he goes around from convention to convention saying, like, why do you associate with Nick DiOrio? Like, I hear a new well... story after all the conventions. So, Dude, I don't do you know. think everyone's I think obsessed with you, bro? Cordial. You think everyone's obsessed with you? What's your problem? No, I, I don't no, think he, everyone's he, obsessed with me. Right but that's when people come up to me and tell me that Nerd City asked me why I'm friends with you at VidCon. I'm like, what the fuck? Why? It's been three years. But I, I think he's chilled down ever since. I, I really do think we're cordial now. I have no idea. But <laughs> Probably not I mean, now. Yeah, to not to now, be honest with you, mate, I think that's a fair question to ask, personally. Yeah. <laughs> dude, dude the, the, the fucking rape guy. You're friends with the rape guy. You, you, you want it? You want to, all, uh, listen, we're you, all rape guys here, okay? <laughs> we're all rape yeah. guys. It's all you, rape you want to? You want to, um, you want to hear a funny story that happened with, with me and him uh, recently? He... Uh, I, I forget, I was given some information on something, right? And he was answering me back, like, um, super passive aggressively, right? And mm -hmm. it just didn't, it just didn't really make sense. I think I showed it to you. And, uh, it, and, I, and I just basically said, I, said, I don't know why you're talking to me this way. I thought we were back on good terms. And then he sends me a video three years prior of something that I said in my show. I didn't name him when I said it, but I did say some information that he gave to me on my show, which really pisses him off. Yeah. yeah which really pisses him off. And you know what? Fair enough. All right. That's the perfect example of Nerd City. Yeah. If you slide him five years ago, he remembers yeah. every second. So, so I thought they'll like, hold it against you five uh, years from our now. Our drama was through. We were done. We were on much better terms. I thought we'd keep it that way. So here I am trying to get the bottom of this, this information I'm trying to pass along to him. Right. And He's being super passive aggressive. And then he just sends me the clip of the information. It's like, and, the, and then he said, I said, you know what? I was like, hey, guy, if you think I'm an asshole that has a big mouth and says things about the, what we talk about in private, just say, how about this? I don't want to tell you and I don't want to help you and I don't want your information because if I say something here, it'll go online. But no, you got to be a little passive aggressive bitch and then run me around for 20 fucking minutes before you lecture me. So, you know, I have a lot more fucking respect for you. If you told me to fuck off, then treat me like the treat me like a goddamn do you remember, woman. Wait, do you remember when we were? We were in a no, I'm not done. I got the punchline. I said, I go, oh, don't okay. act like a woman. And he, he wrote me back. He's like. I am not going to behave in the way that you're telling me to behave at like uncivilized, something, something like that, <laughs> right? Like something to the effect of uncivilized, just because that'll make you think that I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like, like, you're still being passive aggressive. Yeah. You say, fuck off, so, I'm not helping you. you know? One time we were trying to mend the bridge between Tommy and Nerd because Enjoy. Tommy and Nerd used to be friendly. Like you have to understand, Nerd City was in Tommy's chat um, when he had like a thousand Nothing. subs. Like for some reason, Tommy was like he he really liked shot from the point back when I was first. He really liked me. I really liked him. I was I was yeah. I was enamored with him. To be honest with. You. And then yeah. he grew into this huge YouTuber, and Tommy was like super like, hey, wow, we homegrown talent here. Another big one, Nerd City, was in our chat for a long time. Now he's doing great stuff, and he's been super cool with him. So when the fight first broke out, we had to have a um a, a two on two makeup session. Uh, Colossal is crazy. Had to moderate a conversation between me, Tommy, and Nerd. Yeah, he was and drunk. and I, I I was the yeah that he was drunk sitting on Welcome Colossal's porch. Yeah. Um, well, no, sorry, Nerd's porch with Colossal in the middle of the summer one night, and we're talking to try to like mend this friendship. Yeah, and I was the, I came in super level headed, and he goes, Nick, I thought you were going to dox me. You use the word lol cow, which is synonymous with Kiwi Farms. And I went, I fucking hate you. And I left the call. Yeah, I literally was. stormed out immediately. I was and, like, I hate you. And, you and here's the funny thing about a car. We hadn't spoken to this guy. And like, this is during COVID. We hadn't spoken to him in a year. We were, we were done. We were like completely done with him. No, no good vibes either. All of a sudden, I get a message from Colossal is crazy saying, uh, Nerd City wants to, uh, talk to you, talk to you, talk to you and Nick. And I go, well, about what? He says, well, he's very angry um about uh the fact that you guys aren't friends anymore and i'm like what Are you kidding me right yeah and um i think i said something like you know i'll go in but i'm only going in with nick because i don't want to sit there fucking lying to the public about our conversation if it gets heated right <laughs> so and i just I, I remember i found it so weird that like he was just drunk a year after the whole thing was i mean we left on bad terms and he was just bitching to colossal drunk to the point where colossal felt the need to shut him up and call me so we could mend the bridge. <laughs>
<laughs> the first thing he did was piss off the Oreo. <laughs> And the the reality was, I, I kind of like at that point was where I stopped like hating him after yeah. that conversation and post rationalization because I just realized he's like a giga normie. Like, yeah. This guy literally has no idea who he's talking to and the communities that he's hung out with. He watched Tommy stream for years and absorbed none of it. He literally thought that like he was joining a super secret cool friend group or whatever uh, that we're all just super positive people. I've I just I think that he's like a like a total normie in YouTube land, and he never really got accustomed to to landscape. It's okay if so it's every not time this he gets guy. Drama, he's, it's bad. He's one of these guys where it's it's okay. Like I, you'll find this a lot I, I, as you grow, Chud. But I get it more than anybody that I know of. Is like it's okay to make fun of Nerd City, right? But once I get to your YouTuber, then it's a fucking problem, right? So that's the way it kind of felt with him. If I if I made fun of people he didn't like, like Face Banks. That was funny. That was cool. You put him in his place. But if I questioned, hey, you know, is this video could could lead to a slippery, slippery slope or if Verse just questioned it, right, then we were bad friends that didn't support him like out and out. You know, it would be equivalent right. of you having a political take. And I say, I disagree with that. I think that's left wing nonsense. And you never talk to me again because I said that. I mean, I don't know if we've got many more, many more left-wing takes left these days, to be honest. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> but I'm, I'm just, I'm but just no, no, sure. So it, example, from what yeah. I understand then... He's going to change guys... his name from Chud Logic to just Logic. <laughs> <laughs> from what I can understand, you guys are basically, like, got this like, beef with him and stuff, but he just is, like, a kind of guy that can't handle banter, can't yeah. handle sort of that dynamic and gets upset when people... Like I said, the boarding him. school thing. I think he went to school with like really smart guys and in, under a really different culture than me and Nick. Nick. Me and Nick grew up in the same exact culture, right? And I don't think he did. And I thought he did. So I treated him like one of the boys, you know? It just didn't, right. it was a clash. And again, yeah. I want to say this, he is not a bad person. No, he never do anything dirty to anybody. As far, but he's just like, he's kind of a bitch. You know, Except talk and, shit about me at conventions. But well, like, maybe you do that. But I mean, Nick, like, I'm uh, going to talk shit about your conventions, mate. You're fucking <laughs> annoying, bro. You know? And someone's going to tell me about it because everyone tells everybody everything that happens at these fucking conventions. Well, at a sheer coincidence, you don't, you don't care if I plug my stream, do you, uh, Chad? Go for it. All right. At a sheer coincidence, we're doing a stream on Nerd City tonight. He just put out a video, Vault set it up for me, and I start in about 15 minutes. So I have to say goodbye and I have to uh, touch base with Vault. Um and and that's it. No worries. Catch you later. All right. I hope I hope I hope I helped you. Now that I've shit talked him for like an hour, I've only been here for like five minutes, but it feels like an hour. Um yeah. I will say I feel like he's getting unreasonable hate on his new video. I hear I see people mm -hmm. just saying it's the worst thing he's ever created, it's garbage or whatever. It's really just a run of the mill nerd city video. They mm -hmm. hate him because he did cryptocurrency. And uh, he's getting like an unreasonable yeah. amount of hate from people on Twitter and on YouTube drama subreddits and stuff like that because he made an NFT um, mm -hmm. project. And it has nothing to do with the nature of the content. They're just being because of his money. And Nick's 100% right. Whoa, said. whoa, F slurs. Oh. I disavow that language Twitch. I don't agree with that. Thank you. Okay. Oh, oh, no. oh, yeah. No, it's fine. Yeah. Right, as long as I say that, we're good. Okay, don't Well, by the way, Nick is 100% right. Um, he's getting totally treated unfair and we're going to goof on him in a few minutes. So I'll see you all later. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye -bye. He's getting treated totally unfair, like on Shot from the Point at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> My bad, John. I don't care. It's just I've got to say it, haven't I? No, I do care. It's bad. Don't say bad words. Come on. Dude, the problem is I sling that around so often in private. It just rolls off <laughs> the tongue, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I use an, I like that with another word to be honest. I never accidentally pop an N word out there because I don't use that word very often. But yeah, the F wow. slur, I just say it all the time. Right, guys. Okay, this I'm, I'm getting said so much stuff about this nerd city guy. So first of all, okay, we'll go back to that thing we we're watching in a sec. But this looks funny. So what is this? Bo Blacks in a dark place, guys. Guys, I think I engaged in too much YouTube drama. I've just been in the middle of all this drama, and all of a sudden, I'm just here in a dark place. I am trapped in the dark place that everyone's been talking about, and I just don't know how to get out. Like, there's like an arrow here, not there. What? Oh, we'll watch that tomorrow. Le what, main channel lyrics video? Okay, we'll put that Wait, on the list that? for tomorrow. That's another arrow. 
Shit. Where Need did some more Minecraft rape from, content. Dude. Like, wait. Alan Wake reference! Okay. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but I gotta, I gotta get out of this dark place. Okay. <laughs> Just making sound effects as I get out of this dark place. Isn't that what you're supposed to do as a YouTuber? Be very uh, charismatic. Very. Oh! I think I found a way out. Holy shit, there's a light. I this finally is quite found funny. a way out hey. of the dark place. Good job, Oblax. <gasps> Oh shit! Fucking hell! Autistic That's comedy, just eh? Off camera or up? Whoa. Holy shit! I almost actually fell. Ah! Ah! Holy shit! Holy He's touching grass. Fuck. I'm out. I finally made it out of the dark place. Holy shit! The thing that James Charles and I'm pretty sure when was this? 2019. I think this was the last time that uh, Bobax left the house, from what I've heard. Deji could not do. I finally did it. Look at that, man. That I'm looks out. stunning. Dude, I need to fucking... I need to go and look at some nature like this, man. Okay, so, anyway, that's the context that we need for the next clip, which Nicholas is very keen for me to consume. So let's have a look and see. Hey, Bo Blacks, oh, Josh, Bo yeah, Blacks, yeah, we're, yeah. we're talking to you, Bo Blacks. Dude, we see you down it's, there. We see you, Josh. Cool. We see Bo you. Bo Blacks really in here. Oh, yeah, I, I love that guy, though. Hey, yeah, he's, he's, I he's do not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I'll, tell, I'll tell him why I don't. So, like, the um, when I uploaded that video about uh, uh, YouTube's Biggest Lie, where... Sorry, just quickly. That's such a weird thing to do. Normally, if there's someone that you don't like, you would not like make a big scene out of it, and you just, you know, you wouldn't. I don't like that guy. It's such a, it's such an autistic thing to do, bro. Uh, Celo and I had gone through, you know, checking and double checking our our research on these banned words, and uh, you know, I wouldn't put a video like that live without without checking it. I mean, really wanted to make sure we got that right. And so when we did, and we posted up, and we put the Excel spreadsheet, like that was all correct information. And later it would be um, confirmed by YouTube as they uh, repeated our experiment and found that it was right. So it was right. It's not a matter of opinion. Oh, oh, was Nerd City was the guy that put out the word video? I referenced that earlier, right? But like. I uh, in terms of there was a video about all these words you can't use and whore is like a bad word to use. But he was the one that but did that But what Bo Blacks did immediately when we put up the video is he shot from the hip to try and take the spotlight. And he goes, oh, uh, I think that um, I have a feeling this is wrong. This can't be right. And he didn't even test it. He just sat there for, you know, wasted CeeLo and myself's time in a critical period where like, you know, we... We had a lot of people trying to talk to us about that issue who were impacted by it. You know, we were talking to people who were, you know, who didn't know we were working on the video, but once we came out with it, needed to talk to us. So we were talking to the people who were suing YouTube. Uh, we, uh, Fairtube reached out to us. We had lawyers talking to us. There was a lot of there was a lot of important discussions to have to have in that moment. Yeah, and, absolutely. And Bo, Bo Blacks basically tied us up, uh, chasing our tails just to get some attention for himself when he, you know, he's basically saying we were lying and he made a, a 30 tweet storm about it where it was like, you know, Oh, this, this can't be right. This is a lie. I can't believe it. It's just guessing that we were lying. So CeeLo, you know, when someone raises, when your peers raise a question about whether you're telling the truth or not, like it's worth taking seriously. And so that was taken seriously and it shouldn't have been because, Wait, what's, I don't understand what the problem is here. Like, yeah, if you make a video about a topic, someone might tweet about it and have a different opinion or perspective or disagree with your analysis. Is that really that big a deal? It just seems like this Nerd City guy is extremely sensitive and can't hack anyone going against him or disagreeing with him. Because when he finally tested those words, he just goes, oh, uh, I just put in some of these words and I checked them and it they're right, so I'm just going to delete the tweets. So he made a little video, said he was going to delete the tweets, deleted 30 tweets, and then deleted that video tweet. So it was kind of like 
the crime evaporated. <laughs> it's fucking, you know, and like in that. The crime, he called it a crime. <laughs> what? Two autists fighting. What is the, this is such a crazy complaint to make. So he made a couple of tweets disagreeing with you, realised he was wrong, and then deleted the tweets because he realised he was wrong. I don't, like, yeah, sure. Whether it's he criticised you because he disagreed with you or he was wrong and deleted it, I just don't think this is as big a deal to bring up to not like... Like, to not like someone over this. Like, bear in mind, this started off with, I don't like that guy, and then this is the reason. Autist City. Legitimately had wasted our time. And there were a lot of people who saw that and never really, you know, maybe they went to bed that night or they didn't follow up oh. on it and they just thought we'd lied, you know? They're like, oh. oh, fucking, I can't believe Nerd City lied about that. That's fucked up, you know? Blood so I, I just think he's, I think he's irresponsible. And he'll say things like, oh, well, I just read tweets. No, you do things like that where you try to inject yourself into the story. So I just don't even, I don't want to involve myself. With oh, okay. One thing I will agree on, Bo Black says, I just read tweets. Okay, that's complete cope. Like, obviously, Bo Black selects what tweets to read, and it does have an implication on his coverage, right? So, I think that's a bit of a cop out. I just read tweets. There is a implication behind you reading them in some way, right? With someone who does things like that. Also, like one of the DMs I had with him before, I had uh, fucking seen this video he posted where he went into a cave by himself. And it's like, that's a very unsafe thing to do, okay? Like, you should not go spelunking by yourself with, uh, without telling anybody where you are. You shouldn't do it without, like, proper equipment. You shouldn't do it untrained. And he posted what? this video where he goes into a hole <laughs> in the middle of a field. Dude! And it's I like, think I might remember this one. This is a classic, isn't it? <laughs> Why is he bringing that up? I, like... What, what has that got to do with anything? Why do you care about him posting a video of being in a fucking cave? <laughs> Dude, I, I was concerned. I was like, did you tell anybody where you went? Like, uh, don't do that. Did you really just do that with only like the, the uh, light on your phone? You didn't bring a flashlight or whatever. So I was like, you know, trying to figure out if that was a meme or if he was reposting another video. I was like concerned about it or whatever. And it was kind of like an exciting video. If someone is, if someone is doing like a impromptu spelunking adventure. Um, so I asked, I DM'd him. I was like, I can't believe you did that. Like, you, you know, I was asking him for more details about it. And uh, that was really the extent of the conversation. He's like, yeah, I really did it. Uh, whatever. Don't worry. And then he, when, when there was a time when like fucking people were getting angry at me, he, reads those dms and like twisted them to seem like they were manipulative <laughs> like that i was pretending to care about him of all the things you can have a go at bo blacks for the fact he actually went outside for once is surely is surely not one of the things you want to fucking have a curtain for that should be praised if anything okay fucking oh, someone okay. was yelling someone was yelling at me about that and being like oh you pretend to care about bo blacks you're such a liar it's like, what the fuck? Like, so that, that got turned into a point of criticism. It's like this guy has got no awareness of how crazy he sounds. He's got, he hasn't got that kind of off switch to go, okay, I'm spurging out a bit here. Let's just chill, let's chill a little bit, you know? This would be crazy to, to speak like this on your own stream about someone in this way, let alone on what, some sort of, oh, it's a watch party after party. It's just like an after, okay, like a Discord exclusive type thing. Yeah, like a complete lack of social awareness to recognize. Okay, this is kind of weird to okay, go off on this wonderful. tangent about but splunking to this pe these people. people. Ronnie became a member. AK Autistic, sure. Thank you for the membership. Criticism. So when someone reads DMs, like private conversations from me, reads that as content, like we're done talking. You know, there's private conversations and there's public ones. Like don't. Don't serve private mm -hmm. conversations to the public as content. I, I think that's pretty mm. that's a pretty fair, fair standard to have. Anyway, so that's uh, the reason. So I'm uh, fucking yeah. blocked, think, blocked, probably for good. I think under most circumstances, I would agree with you. I would like to point out that he has his hand raised in the chat, but you are under no <laughs> obligation. <laughs> no, fucking in fact, I'm probably going to boot him out of the server. I think he's just an untrustworthy person for those reasons that I said. And Yo! Wavy trying to make the content happen.
I actually haven't had much interaction with Wavy. We kind of, uh, you know. He seems like a funny guy. And he's clearly trying to fucking get the content going. <laughs> but no, he's getting Nerd City is denying. That's, that's and he'll probably even make a stream about this, which is a private conversation. Like, it's not, this isn't content for his channel, but he'll do that anyway. Anyway. For those reasons, I'm out. No. Fucking yeah. shitty guy. You heard that. Yeah. Uh, Anyway, we got. Yeah, anybody want to talk about the uh, fucking video? I got really yeah, sad. So yeah, I see what the best saying. Obviously, Nerd City is not like a, a a sort of malicious person necessarily, but he's just kind of like a cringe, sensitive guy, who gets hyper focused on things that aren't really that big a deal, like splunking, whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> You like caves? That's a block. Shit, hang on a sec. I wanted to watch a bit more of this as well. Just, uh, and then we'll see what this, this new Keffel's Soul Bunny shit is. I'll need to fucking tell you who Soul Bunny is, but it'll be worth it, okay? In ways that, in order to have a cultural battle there where, you know, we're trolls by nature. We like to annoy people who we don't like. And we act in ways that, in order to make a, a Discord community functional and not have people like traumatized and abused, we have to be a little bit hypocritical. You know, like we, we can't let people talk to strangers and to each other the way that the banter between Colossal and Pyro is. Or you end up where someone is pinging a stranger and accusing them of being a criminal, <laughs> right? We don't have to say the word again. Yeah, but they're, like, being, they're being good at that. True. Well, they get, they get timed out now if they harass you know, a new a new user. The yeah, only thing that I, didn't let up were the cats. <laughs> that that stayed consistent the entire time. Well, of course it would because you kept encouraging it. Like you you were yeah, posting I more cats, and so people will post cats. I don't but mind the, it either. Uh, the problem was it just was like it was off it was off topic and it snowballed to the point where it became overwhelming. Like I would try to catch up with chat and I would read like eight cat things in a row to just <laughs> just trying to get back to where someone had asked a question about i just don't this the idea that like i mean people are just going to talk shit about you you don't have to engage with it if you don't want to and obviously if you're having like a friendly conversation someone might take it to an extreme where they say something that isn't really appropriate based on your relationship but i mean you kind of just got to take that with the the speed at which these discords tend to fucking go just move on really you know? out the show or said anything that i could engage with and it was all just people trying to get the attention supply by posting a cat and it wasn't even a good it was like nothing that you even were supposed to like it, it really was just like we talked about too mad sort of driving a truck through a thread to disrupt it that's how i saw the cat images it was meant to just keep people from talking it wasn't like that i needed it to be some sort of high-minded discourse or whatever. No, no, okay, no. That's wonderful. I just didn't want you to shit into the pressing. Discord Five with garbage cat cats. images. <laughs> so I eventually, like, I, I wanted to see, okay, cats. let's see what happens so if I just turn cats. off the cats. image permissions Big to the people who square. post multiple cats. cats. So I started neutering people who posted three cats. Bro, he started turning off... <laughs> Come on, bro. That's absurd. Oh, you've posted one too many cats, my friend. Image privilege is gone. Unlucky. And everyone who posted three cats, I would reply with the Bob Barker thing, and I would go, uh, spay and neuter your strays. And I started, and I got up to like 27 people who had posted a cat three times. And then <laughs> the chat started to improve, but there were still cats. It was like people would come by and be like, where are the cats? And then they would post cats. If you say, I do not want to see any more images or videos of cats, stop posting cats. All you're going to do is encourage them to do it more. Yes. <laughs> Only if you can't, like, if you if you say that and you don't mean it and you can't actually, like, see, the reason that we weren't able to actually get rid of the cats forever is because Dolan was letting the cats back in through the back door and posting cats again, and he was unbanning people. But if you demonstrate, like, listen, guys, the cats have been used to disrupt conversation and make this server unusable, so no cats. We're we're, gonna, we're just going to see what happens well, when we take I away image terms. The, the cats rule. No, it's not, it's not a, like, um, a fundamentally offensive thing. And the first, probably, I was saying, like, the first 30 cats I saw on the server, I probably was like, oh, that's wholesome. 
But then I started to see it. It started to represent something else. It started to mean basically like, fuck what you guys are talking about. Look at me. Well, I mean, look at the profile pictures of the users in the Discord. 50% well, of them are Jay's fucking is a cat. cats. So is Pyros. <laughs> so is Pyros. Does that make this a, does that make this a cat themed podcast? Because I, I don't think it does. Well, the thing is like Jay is always posting his cat. That specific cat has become part of, to be honest, lore. Massive. I was saying about... <laughs> I was saying about the Ryzen stuff earlier, yeah. Is he in Ryzen's Discord? We were joking a bit about that earlier. Although people don't know who the fuck that guy is. But uh, but yeah, about the whole... Yeah, man, give me bits for cat gifts. Just put a comments there. So, if you like, nerd, cats are a part of, to be well, honest. Well, a specific no, cat. No, no anyway. they weren't. They are now. They are. Because this is are. the first time we've ever mentioned it. And this is a show. It's a podcast. And the podcast has never talked about cats or been about cats at all. Did I not tell the story of when I caught rabies from a cat? Maybe that's... I thought you got it from a dog. Uh, and a cat. You get it from... Oh, you'd have from both. Hopefully. I've had rabies multiple times, or at least I've contracted it. Are you serious? Yeah. Really? You, so did you have the injections? I've had the injections before. You wouldn't know you had that. Otherwise, I'd be fucking dead. Fucking de yeah. I suppose. I suppose yeah, how I long know. can you have rabies before the vaccine is... Well, I got it instantly. Like I just, the next thing I did was go to the hospital. Both yeah, times were in Thailand. Both times were in Thailand. It's like a month-long thing, isn't it? Like, you'll get bit, and then months later, you just suddenly... There's a critical window of, like, 48 hours where you have to get these injections, or you will lose your mind and die. In the later stages of it, you end oh, up with that aquaphobia. You end up like being afraid of yeah, water and crazy right. shit. The fear of water. It's a pretty nasty way to go. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <You done? laughs> I really, yeah, okay. I think I understand the nerd city hate. Well, not the hate. It's probably excessive to hate the guy. Um, it's just he's just a bit weird and cringe and like doesn't like cat images <laughs> and get over. He like over overcompensates for like things happening massively. What is it actually? I don't know. He's. It seems like he's got like a lot of. Strikes me as someone that's got a lot of success on YouTube and has become quite kind of full of themselves and very pretentious. You know, that's that's what it seems like. Did he have quite a rapid rise to success, like over, like quite quickly compared to what other people get? Like he got like a lot of attention and and success very over like quite a short span of time. Because that can often be a, a sort of deadly scenario in terms of like your your ego, you know. Stun seed. Read this backwards. D's nuts. Oh, you got me. You got me, guys. You got me. Good video essayist, but I don't care for his personality, and he's done some laughable shit. That's my take. Yeah, sure. See, look, Alan knows. Alan with a base take as usual. I mean, yeah, like that video we watched. I'm sure there's more to it that's, uh, you know, very good. But, um, yeah, very high production values. Right, guys. Okay, last time I tried to do this, I totally fucked it up. So hopefully we won't do that today. <laughs>